So why is it that men are fatter, weaker, softer, and less sexual than they've ever been before? Well, the number one reason is hormonal imbalance, all right? More precisely, estrogen levels have gone way up in men, and testosterone levels have gone way down. And some researchers actually estimate that the average man today has less than 50% of the testosterone levels compared to the average man from just a few decades ago. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you something that 91% of men are gonna ignore in 2019, and that is how estrogenics are destroying your manhood and how you can reduce your exposure to them so that you can reclaim your masculinity, all right? Because the fact of the matter is that estrogenics are all around us, in our food supply, in our cosmetics, and in our plastics that we are exposed to every single day, all right? So so the first thing you need to watch out for are phytoestrogens and phytoestrogens are plant estrogens and the two primary foods that contain 10,000 times more phytoestrogens than any other food out there are flaxseed and soy, all right? Now, Canadian researchers actually looked at more than 100 commonly eaten foods and analyzed them for their phytoestrogen content, and they found that flaxseed and soy had more phytoestrogens than anything else. Like I said, 10,000 times more than any other food out there. Nothing else even comes close, all right? So remove these bo both of these foods from your diet. And soy, especially, it seeps into our food supply from soybean oil. I was reading a statistic that 70% of the calories consumed in the Western world, in the US in particular, is consumed from soybean oil. So definitely watch out for that, all right? Second food is cereals and grains. Both of these foods secrete an estrogenic fungus called ZEA, and ZEA has deb debilating effects on the male reproductive function and strong estrogenic effects as well, all right? So bread, cereal, oats, all of these things are something you need to avoid slash reduce slash eliminate from your diet all right third thing is factory farmed meats all right other than the antibiotics and the hormones and the growth hormone and the artificial means through which they actually get these animals to grow faster than they're used to all of these animals are also fed grains and you are not only what you eat you are also what you eat ate and since all of these uh livestock are fed all these grains they have traces of ZEA in their system as well. So if you can, definitely opt for organic meats. Third thing is or vegetables, all right? So these mass-produced vegetables are sprayed with herbicides, and the fact of the matter is that yes, these herbicides keep the weeds away, they keep the negative things away, but they also infect the fruits and vegetables with estrogenics, all right? So one of the most primary one of these herbicides is called astrazine, all right? Now, astrazine has been found to have such debilating effects on the male reproductive system that in Europe, it is completely banned. But in the US, it is the second most used herbicide in all of the US, like I said, all right? And uh, definitely, if you are buying produce that is produced in a mass scale, then wash that before you consume it. And if you have the opportunity, definitely opt for factory, I mean, definitely opt for farm farmer's market or organic produce, all right? And next up, we have cosmetics. Whether that's our sunscreen, our soap, our shampoo, all of these things contain so many chemicals that end up seeping into our body, to our skin, to our mouth, whatever it is, and begin attaching to their estrogen receptors and begin exerting these feminizing effects. So if you can, whenever you can, read the label and look out for lavender in particular, all right? Because lavender is a very commonly added ingredient to so many cosmetics, but research is definitively clear on the fact that it is very estrogenic. So if you read lavender on the label, just cut it out. And if you have the opportunity, then definitely opt for organic cosmetic products where the ingredients are just one, two, three ingredients rather than a list of ingredients which you can't even pronounce, all right? Me personally, I do not even use shampoo. I shower with uh, cold water and it keeps my skin soft, it keeps my hair soft and do whatever works for you. But personally, I do not even use shampoo and I use soap when I wash my hands, but I just avoid any of these sunscreens or anything like that because I do not want that estrogenic exposure, all right? Next up is marijuana. Now this caught me by surprise because I am a recreational smoker, but the fact is that research in Denmark actually found that men who smoked marijuana had 28% lower sperm count 
than the men who did not smoke marijuana. And there's also research showing a link between marijuana usage and gynecomastia, right? Or man boobs. I do have a bit of them myself and I don't know if it's linked to the marijuana usage, but I have definitely become more aware of my own usage of it and reducing it and making sure that I am using it for with intention and purpose rather than to fill the space and without intention, all right? Because you want to make sure that if you are using a tool, that the tool doesn't end up using you. And it's the same with everything in life. There's benefits to everything. There's cons to everything. And you just have to figure out what works for you and how to end up making it work best for you, all right? And the last thing that you need to watch out for are plastics, okay? Because there are two chemicals in particular, BPA and phthalates. Both of these ingredients are added to plastics in the manufacturing process to make them more durable, to make them more flexible, but they also, the research is definitively clear on the fact that they have very strong estrogenic effects on the male body. Not only male body, but female body as well, okay? And that just leads to hormonal imbalance. And the fact is that it's impossible to avoid plastics altogether because they are all around us and pretty much ubiquitous with today's life. I mean, I order some groceries, they bring it in a plastic bag. I order some vegetables, they bring it in a plastic bag. I order water, they bring it in a plastic bottle. But the fact is that you have to become aware of the effect that plastics are having on your body, all right? They are having, they are actually seeping into our body and exerting those estrogenic effects by connecting to the estrogenic receptors. Not only that, but plastics are horrible for the environment as well, all right? So these are some things for you to keep in mind. This is some stuff that most men will ignore. They'll focus on how they can make the changes in their lifestyle. But the fact is you can do everything you want, but if you're still eating estrogenic foods and being exposed to estrogenic products through your everyday lifestyle, then you will not see the results that you want. And if you want to find out about the seven most important factors that I've implemented into my own life and entered my personal power by actually taking action on them, then check out my free masterclass, which is linked somewhere over here, and I'll show you everything that I've learned in my last eight years of masculine development. I hope that this video has been valuable for you, and I'll see you soon.